Here on In Business, we like to track companies that are manufacturing in the United States and able to create American jobs. In today's Made in the USA segment, we're looking at Trek bicycles. They still make bikes here in the U.S. of carbon fiber, and they'll cost you about $4,000. We're joined by Trek CEO John Burke from Madison, Wisconsin. Welcome to In Business. Well, thank you very much for having me today. <laughs> so how much of your product is made in America? Well, if you take a look um, from a dollar standpoint, I think we probably manufacture about 20 percent. Um, we also manufacture in China. We manufacture in Taiwan. We also have a big manufacturing plant in Europe because we have a big market in Europe. So we kind of manufacture all over the world. So if you make at 20 percent of your product dollar wise in the United States, what is preventing you from keeping that or pushing that manufacturing to some of these other markets you're engaged in? Well, you know, if you take a look at it, we always say that we build product where it makes the most sense. So there's a few advantages to building the product here in the United States. The first one is, is just awesome product. One of the things we really believe at Trek is if we can create best in class products, that moves the meter. And by manufacturing really high end bikes in the U.S., we're able to push the envelope on R&D. We're able to really make great product. And that really makes a difference. That's probably the biggest reason why Trek continues to manufacture in the U.S. And you've got a pretty pricey price tag, $4,000 per bike, but that bike would be cheaper if you made it overseas. You know, the, the bike would be cheaper if we made it overseas, but, you know, if you take a look at $4,000, one of the things that's happened in cycling over the last 10 to 15 years is consumers are spending more money on bikes. Especially high-end cycling has become very popular. It's the people who used to run, people who used to play golf. A lot of those people are now cycling, and those people are spending money on great products. And Trek has really benefited from that. And if you take a look at our Project One program, it's a way that we can customize bikes. Price point goes from $4,000 all the way up to $15,000. By making that product here in the U.S., we've got short lead times, we can customize, right. and it makes a difference. Now, you have about 1,800 employees, 1,000 of them in the United States. What would make you hire more in the U.S.? Uh -huh. Well, if we were selling more bikes, we'd hire more people. Um, that would be an easy thing. Um, so it's the economy you know, before we, anything else. Well, you know, it's, you know, the economy affects a lot of things. Uh, one of the things we like to do at Trek is really focus on things that we control. We do not control the economy. So we kind of focus on what we have. If the economy was better, we'd sell more high-end bikes. That would help out. So this debate in Washington uh, on the payroll tax holiday, you know, there's incentive to employers, there's questions about incentives to employees as well. Would any kind of policy initiative make you hire more? No. Um, you know, I've heard all these different policy initiatives, and to me, they all seem like they're very short term. And, you know, one of the things that concerns me the most is how consistent is the business outlook? And the more certainty that we can have in the business outlook, we would hire more people. If you take a look at what's being discussed in Washington, mm -hmm. to me, these are short-term treats, and it really, doesn't, it really doesn't make a difference in the long-term outlook. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much uh, for sharing your story. John Burke there, Trex CEO.